I wish to share something that humans are capable of. They're sending a huge satellite off the coast of Suriname, no, French Guyana. As you know, a massive telescope has been launched on this Christmas day from the coast of Ariane Space Center, the French Ghanaian state in the South Americas, out to the space in a massive, gigantic rocket bursting out of the surface of this Earth, out to the space and beyond. And with it, will carry the largest telescope that humans have ever imagined and made to this day. And it is to my understanding to understand the universe, the galaxies, the cosmic space, and to see and know what is out there. Out there. Out there. What is out there where it starts and where it begins and where it ends. Amongst all this debris that I walk upon. And at the same time, the entire globe, the entire world is in the midst of a massive tsunami, of a pandemic that is sweeping across and making 7.4 billion lives shaken, altered, a table a round table that has lost the show. As I said, that space shuttle that is going to launch and take with a telescope to look out, to see what is out there and to learn and explore the universe while isn't it a joke that what we've got around in our nose that we can't understand how to manage it and to understand it well enough so that we all act together as one race, as human race to tackle the challenges that we have been facing for over two years. Yet, we are trying to go beyond the planet, beyond the outer space, and beyond. To know the universe, when we haven't even figured out ourselves as to how to be, and how to find a solution to the man man's problem to the human problems on this planet how to find a solution to a common concern of health and well-being instead i'm sure you're seeing enough i don't have to explain what i'm walking upon you've heard what i've said we are launching satellites with the greatest technology and advances in science and engineering to know the universe. But we can't even figure out a simple virus that is spreading all across the world and affecting all the human ways of being all the ways that human beings 
have not been able to cope, not been able to accept the realities of the world and we are trying to be smarter than even a small virus that we can't even figure out what it is. All we have done is made up stories. All we have done is used our tools of knowledge, the current tools of knowledge to figure out how to, how to fight it, how to fight it, not how to understand as to how to be as a whole life on this planet and accept our making like this is a result our making like this is not the result of that tiny little seagull perched on that little metal beam on a floating steam roller ship that has been spun into pieces Isn't it time you all woke up and open up your sense of consciousness and realize that your nonsense is not going to stop the way that nature intended the life to be existing here? Your fight against the forces and natural forces of life out there is never going to be a solution. You sending out shuttles and space shuttles and rockets to the space is also not going to make us more advanced. It's only going to make us closer to our existence here as human beings a much shorter because we simply haven't realized our impact our footprint on this planet has been heavy enough that it's unbearable even for mother earth to take the combined forces of the footprint that human beings have made and impacted on this planet for the last many centuries. This has all happened in a small space of time simply because of our greed. Those greeds are there. Ships are bringing in more. going to be a, such a painful realization as we open our eyes each morning because we are going to see far more destruction by nature and mother nature the forces of mother nature is going to tell us the way we have been living is a reminder for us to slow down and and slow down and take a step and make a step that is so gentle that it is felt as light and gentle as possible here on earth.